For more information on tutoring or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So this video is just to kind of organize everything that we said in the previous videos in one sort of chart or um, one big picture, really. So types of uh, types of decay we talked about: alpha decay, beta decay, positron emission, electron capture, and gamma decay. Start with alpha decay. The particle, the alpha particle, is represented like this, with an A value of four, a Z of two. The general form when it comes to alpha decay is you start with a, a nucleus of with an A, Z, and X. You get the A to decrease by four, the Z to decrease by two, and the alpha particle is emitted. Okay. And as far as the change in A, Z, and N are, we see the A changes, it decreases by four, the Z decreases by two, and the N decreases by two as well. Okay. Beta decay. Beta particles represented like that. A of zero, Z of negative one, beta minus. Start with an A, Z, X. We emit that beta particle, the A stays the same, and the Z increases by one. The particle combination that allows this to happen is a neutron is turned into a proton and that beta particle, or an electron, right? Otherwise known as an electron. So what happens is the A stays the same, right? There's no change in A. The Z increases by one, and the N decreases by one because a neutron is turned into a proton and an electron. Uh, positron emission looks similar to the beta particle, uh, except the though the, the mass number is the same, the z is 1 and the charge is positive. So we start off again with the AZX. Mass number stays the same, the z is decreased by 1 with the emission of this particle. And as far as the particle combo or change that occurs, one proton is converted into one neutron and one positron. So the A value, we said, doesn't change. The Z decreases by 1, and the N increases by 1. Okay. With electron capture, we've got an electron, which is basically identical to um, a beta particle. And But the thing about electron capture is the only one with the particle um, on the left side of the, the general form of the reaction, or the reaction. So, we have AZX plus this electron to give um, uh, a resulting nucleus with the same mass number and the Z decreasing by one. The particle combination here is that one proton and one electron come together to make one neutron. So the A value doesn't change. The Z number decreases by one and the N increases by one. So the effect of positron emission and electron capture on A, Z, and N are identical. With gamma decay, we have the zero, zero for the mass number and, and atomic number respectively in the gamma symbol here. And gamma decay is basically just energy, right? We just get energy released. So we go from a high, high energy excited nucleus to a more stable one. And this usually accompanies one of the other types of decay. No particle combinations or changes are happening here. Um, and there's no change in the A, Z, or N. Okay. So hopefully that was a helpful summary. Um, maybe this might be a good thing to study once you've watched the other videos, which I encourage you to do if you haven't already. So um, hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you, and happy studying.